Hello everyone, welcome back to Sanitarium. I have regained my sanity, which I lost somewhere around the last 40 minutes or so. The, the entire last episode, basically. <sighs> but yes, I've regained it. Um, I finished the puzzle in one go, without crashing. It actually was very fast to finish, thanks to a walkthrough. Thank God. So, it should be smooth sailing from here, right? No more crashes. Right? No more crashes. Nothing will ever go wrong again. I just realized I haven't saved it. Oh, God. Is that enough saves? I don't think so. One more for good measure. Okay. Ah, let's go. So, yeah, I got through the puzzle and it just, like, took me up here through an elevator thing or whatever the hell happened. Uh, basically, directly above where I was before. Yep, see, I was right down there. Now I'm up here. Their blood is being drained by this infernal machinery. How barbaric. Their blood is being... How can I save these children from such an atrocity? Hi. She's half bug, but she still seems aware as a cyclops. Who are you? Gorilla, I'm surprised to see another Cyclops in the hive, especially in the Queen's chambers. You seem familiar to me. Do I know you? I am Grimwall. The Grimwall of the war? But how can this be? It must be a sign from the Makers. Uh, sure. Wh where? Where are you from? The city, of course. I was part of Grona's research team before he betrayed us. I don't understand. How did Gromna betray your team? It's a little complicated, but I've managed to piece it all together. I can tell you the whole story if you'd like. Well, if this was the last episode, I would have not had the patience to listen to the whole story, but now that I'm back and everything's fresh and I'm excited again, yeah, I'll hear the whole story. Tell me about it. I don't have much time, but I'd like to hear your story. I'll keep it brief. After we were captured, the Queen was set to execute us. But Grona convinced the Queen to let us live. Although now I wish we had been killed swiftly instead of suffering through Grona's so-called surgeries. I don't understand. How does this surgery fit into the Insectoid's plans? It doesn't. Grona has his own agenda. He seeks to unlock the Secret of immortality. The insectoids have a greater metabolism than us, so he hopes to merge the two species and then use cybernetic enhancements in order to live forever. We're his experiments, his failures. We've been assigned to work here until we die. Yeah, so he's trying to mix Cyclops, Insect, and Cybernetics. That would be a very strange combination. Why do you stay here? Why not just escape? We are part Insectoid. We must obey the Queen's will, whether we want to or not. I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. One of the unfortunate side effects of merging our two species is Dementia. Soon, I'll be quite mad, just like the rest. What a sad existence. It actually might have been better if they, if they had just been killed rather than turned into this. What do you do here? I tend to the clones, monitoring their life 
signs. When they are near the end, I must call for a drone to remove it and carry its body down to the furnace. Then another drone brings up another clone. I do what I can to make their short lives a little less painful. It saddens me to see them suffer so. Right, well, just from reading the walkthrough, I know what to do next. Because, even though I have my patience back, compared to the last episode, I still kind of just, like, I really want to just get out of here and get to the next level. I've been stuck here too long, even though it really hasn't been very long at all. But still, I, I really, really want to get to the next level, so I'm just going to use the walkthrough to finish this out, because we're almost done, so... For whatever reason, apparently I'm supposed to use the tools on this thing here. Crap. Hmm. Did, did it work? A sound generator. A sledgehammer. Sh uh, did... What, what did I do? A piece of machinery. I hope this is what Graven wanted. Okay, um... What the heck do I do next? Maybe I should read the walkthrough again. A piece of machine. I can't use that. Um. The walkthrough mentioned something about a rope. Or c can I just go back down? Oh, I can. Okay. <laughs> that looks like a very disturbing elevator. Do I give you the part? What the frick? Hold on, hold on, let me look at the walkthrough again. It says, um... Use the tools on the machine piece and go to the great machine. For this part... Oh, go to the great machine. Okay, um... Wait, how do I get there? How did I get here? Where was I spit out from? Must I pass through the bowels of the monster? Can, can I go back through? Must I... Oh, I need to use the item again, don't I? A sound. Okay. Got it. Okay, and we go back to the, uh, we go to the thing that has the hole for the piece that I just took out, which is some... Huh? Oh, great. Now I'm stranded here. Sorry. This flimsy stuff wasn't made to support my weight. Crap. That doesn't make any sense. It just spontaneously disappeared. And you just said that it apparently disappeared because of his weight. It wasn't made to support his weight. He didn't even stand on it. So, whatever. Anyway. A piece just throw it on over. Oof. Where did you find this? It was powering some type of machine that drained the blood out of the children and fed the queen. This is awful. How could I have been so wrong? Oh, surprise! The game crashed! Wonderful, oh god, that's why I'm using the walkthrough to get out of here. This place is, for some reason, extraordinarily unstable. Get me out of here, now. Let's do that again. Oof! Where did you find this? It was powering some type of machine that drained the blood out of the children and fed the queen. This is awful! How could I have been so wrong about Gromna? DNA test cycle initiated. Perfect! Second. No! Molecular cohesion negative. Damn it! Have you figured out the purpose of the machine? Part of it. But I need time to properly study it. Gromna has removed two pieces from it. Generators of some kind. I need to attach the missing pieces to get the machine running again. Unfortunately, only Gromna knows where they are. What is it? It appears to be a miniature wormhole. No way! But where does the wormhole go to? Where does it lead? Nowhere right now. Think of this as a hallway with only one door open. Until another door can be opened, this doesn't lead anywhere. What about the second missing piece? 
That could be it. Wherever it is, you must hurry and find it before the peace treaty tomorrow. Something tells me that it's nothing more than a clever disguise for a more sinister plot. But I don't understand. Who would design a hallway with only one door? Surely a hallway is designed to allow you to pass through an area. And, but you can't pass through if there's only one door. I don't understand. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to know what to do next here, but according to the walkthrough, we have to go back to the, uh... Ba back to the, um... Cyclops bug lady, and apparently there's a rope there now, because why not? How you're supposed to know that, I don't know. A Even the doorway is... Is... Do... <sighs> Do I have to play the sound again? Oh dear god. The thing is, last time I played it, though, it blew out my fucking eardrums because for some reason, um, it the sounds generated by this machine do not obey the volume set by the game. Even though everything sounds normal, even the cinematics sound normal, the volume of when I pressed the buttons on this thing were so loud I had to take my headphones off. I need to do something. Yes, yes, you do. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna cut that out. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. <sighs> in this part, I would have never known what to do if it wasn't for the walkthrough. Do you know what I'm supposed to do in this scene? This scene right here? I'm supposed to climb the rope to go to the third level. Y you're probably wondering, what rope, right? W where's the rope that I need to climb? I was wondering the same thing. Why don't you look for it? Wh why don't you look? Here, I'm just gonna stay put. Look, look around the scene. There's a rope. I need to climb it. Do you see it yet? Look around you. Look around you. Have you spotted it yet? No, you probably haven't. Because it's fucking invisible. Almost. Where is it? Where's the rope? Hey, no. I've got four thumbs to twiddle. Please shut up. Where, where's the rope? Is it? Is it that? No. Is it? Is it? No. No. Is it? Is it? No. No. Is it? No. No. Is it? No. And it's not that. No. Where? Where? Oh. Oh. Right. It's there. That's the fucking rope. You need to climb. Sometimes I'm not very observant. So sometimes I take the blame for not seeing something. In this case, I accept exactly 0% of the responsibility for not seeing the one pixel rope that is darkly colored amongst a dark background. <sighs> Climb the rope. After long ages of waiting, the time has come. Today you assemble as outsiders, invaders. Tomorrow, your troops will sweep down upon the city in a murderous wave of retribution. For too long, you have known suffering. You have dwelt beneath the surface and watched your aggressors live in lands where you once lived. Will you remain underground forever? Can you endure this terrible injustice for one more day? Though I am one of them. I too have been oppressed by your enemy. They laughed at me and my work. The very work which has given you your new cybernetic enhancements. The technology which will mow down all opposition in the coming war. The work which will allow you to overrun the capital city of Gronterra and assume your rightful place as rulers of this planet. Your planet! Your time has come. Tomorrow's end will see the end of the Cyclopean Age and the dawn of the Insectoids! Wonderful. Yes. 
I love the I love the fact that there's little uh well actually not a little at all, there's huge bugs operating the cameras. That's so cool. These controls are similar to those Graven used to create the portal. Hmm, perhaps I can take a part from this and use it to complete the portal. A not the sound generator. A Wait, where's my tools? I can't that would up. No. Strange. They seem to mark an entrance to nowhere. Okay, you just take it. No need to use tools. Oh, hi! My god, that's it! All along, it's been so simple! Could it be? My god, that's it! All along, the answer has been right here! Right in front of my eyes the whole time! Now what? The whole damn hive will be bearing down on us any second now. Hold on. I figured it out. The second piece serves as a compass for the wormhole. With this I can open a doorway anywhere. I'm setting the coordinates for the chambers of the Peace Council. When we tell them about Gromna, they'll launch a preemptive nuclear strike against the hive. That's it! The Morgue and Cemetery. Okay, thank God we're in a new You've place. You've done some incredible work, Max. It's really a shame. <laughs> now where am I? Cyclops? Bugs? Mother? All of these monsters must mean something, but what? Okay. We just woke up in a really creepy, uh... A uh, morgue. And it's freezing cold. And in fact, I'm actually kind of cold, so I'm really feeling the, uh... I, I really feel for him. But, okay. This is a new place, so... Everyone, take a breath. Let the... I'm, I guess I'm probably only speaking for myself here, but... I'm just gonna let the frustrations go. We're in a new place. Things are going to be different now. They're not going to be like they were before. Take a breath. Okay. The game is never going to crash again, and everything what is going I to be perfect. Now? What you do is you shut. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. You can you can talk and annoy me. It's fine. It's, it's not a problem. Don't worry about it. Everything's good. God, why is there blood everywhere? It's like they've been. I don't know, this place seems so cold, you'd think they'd be frozen. But if there's blood, then they can't be. Or at least they weren't at one point. <sighs> a woman's corpse. I'll be in a bag soon, too, if I don't get out of here. Yeah, I'm not exactly wearing very warming clothes. Although, I do have a bandage on my head, which I guess kind of serves as like a, a cap of sorts. So that'll help. Oh! Hi. Beware, Max. The closer you come to reaching your goal, the more danger you are in. Someone seeks to keep you here with us forever. One who will do anything to keep you from leaving the asylum. Why? Who conspires against me? I can only say that if you leave, it will mean this person's downfall. But your time is short. Waste not fruitless questions on me. The air grows thick with frost, and soon I must return to my eternal slumber. It, it, it's getting cold. The temperature is dropping. They want you to sleep, like me, forever. 
forever. You must escape this cold tomb, for there are other secrets frozen in time. Okay, um, good night. Go back to sleep. Okay, so I'm getting the impression that Max was onto a discovery. About the the disease, the plague, or whatever. I'm forgetting all of the pro I'm forgetting all of the names for these things and all the characters' names as well. So sorry about that, but hopefully this will make sense. So he was he was onto a discovery for how to cure the the plague. It sounds like. And the other doctor he was working with, the one that was a piece of shit and torturing monkeys and whatnot and whatever else he was doing. It sounds like uh, something something Max was doing was pissing him off. It was going to ruin him in some way. So I'm guessing that the other doctor, I forgot his name, is trying to keep Max... Well, trying to keep him in the asylum. Trying to make him crazy, I guess. Keep him in like a, a drugged frenzy or a drugged... Just, just keep him drugged. So that he can't do anything, and everyone will think he's crazy. That's my impression so far. We'll see what happens. Anyway, well, let's see if I can get out of here just by opening the door. It should be that simple, right? Need to get out of here. That door is the only way. All right. Absolutely nothing should go wrong, and I should be able to just walk out of here, right? Must open the door and get out of here. Okay, Damn. great. It's another one of those things that's probably gonna crash. That'll be wonderful. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna look at the walkthrough. Let's see if this is easy. Let's see if this is easy. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna read the instructions here and let's see if we can do this fast enough before it crashes, okay? It's, it's gonna be exciting. All right, all right, come on. We're gonna, we're gonna race this thing. Hold on, I gotta make sure I read this correctly. And read it fast. Turn the upper right wheel three times and pull the lever below that to the left. Repeat another two times. Oh god. Okay, here we go. Turn the upper right wheel three times and pull the lever below that to the left. Must open. Turn the upper right wheel three times. One, two, three. Pull it to the left. One, two, three. Pull it to the left. How many times do I repeat this? Oh, fuck it crashed. God damn it. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Every everything's gonna be fine. I'll be right back. Okay, I managed to solve it. Only took about two or three crashes. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Now, save. Save. Okay, that should do it. Funny thing is, the walkthrough was actually wrong. Slightly. It was mostly right. But it was slightly wrong. I actually had to use my own brain to solve it a little bit. That kind of hurt. I don't like it when I have to use my brain. Uh-oh. Uh vision. What the hell are you doing? Excuse me? Cutting my research department in half? Pulling most of my funding? Despite the fact that my department, my research is coming remarkably close to a cure! Oh, your research. May I remind you that the Mercy Foundation was created around the success of my hope drug, not vague promises of a cure? Rather than wasting resources on an entirely new path, you need to channel your energies toward making the hope drug better. I thought that a few cutbacks would communicate this to you. Maybe you're not as bright as I thought. You know, I think I figured you out. You're not interested in a cure. You just want hope to bring you more prestige, more money. Oh, you smart bastard. Give me back my department, otherwise I'll... I'll leave. I'll take my research with me and find a company that's more concerned with finding a cure than filling its pockets. I... I can't believe that your opinion of me is so low, Max. We're friends. You're blowing the whole thing out of proportion, taking this personally. Your sister didn't die of DNA V, Max. I'm... I apologize. No, it, it's all right. Those cutbacks are based solely on existing statistics. The truth is that it's difficult to measure the success of your research against the proven methods of the HOPE treatment. Look, you don't have to leave Mercy to continue with your project. I'll look over the numbers again. We'll work something out. <sighs> ah. 
Gotta say... The kind of, the big story that's going on behind the scenes that led to all of this... ...is extraordinarily poorly written. It is like the most unsubtle, heavy, ham-fisted, cliched character, black and white, good versus evil sort of thing. One of the worst I've ever seen. Like, there's no... I mean, these are... they're comically... They're just caricatures. These characters. The evil... I mean, look, he's the evil guy that tortures monkeys. And just wants money. I mean, there's... Uh, that's just a... It's just a poorly written character. It's just silly. An empty brass urn. That's a brass urn? I thought it was a golden chalice. I'm disappointed. Looks like this place has been ransacked. I need something to bust through this wall. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Look at that cross up there. And that is the same shape of cross that's in the logo for Sanitarium. And that forms the T in the logo. Nice oak desk. Sturdy. Is it nice? I guess it's just a compression, but to me it looks kind of hideous. A book of matches. Uh, a sort of matchbook. There seems to be 20 of them. Dr. Morgan has an iron bust of himself. <laughs> Pretentious. <laughs> I didn't realize Morgan was so busty. And there ends the, uh, total tank of clever things that I have to uh, dispense. Now I am out and will never say anything clever ever again. I'm sorry. The end. It's hard to tell what I can pick up and what is just the thing bugging out and it's gonna be me clicking on the character like this is just me clicking on my character. It's kinda hard to tell. Okay, I don't think there's anything more here. Gotta scan through every single pixel. Hold on, I think I missed a pixel right there. Okay, there's nothing. An iron bust of Morgan, an empty brass urn, matches. Now I just need some cigarettes. Seriously? What kind of a jackass doctor smokes? Really, I think any doctor who smokes is totally pathetic. That's just sad. Well, I'm seeing a theme here of brass stuff. An empty an iron bust of Morgan. Well, <laughs> it says one is brass and the other is iron, but it looks they both look like brass. Maybe this is heavy enough? Oh. Seems to have done the job, mostly. Let's try it again. One more throw. Yes! <laughs> I smell gas. Must be an open valve nearby. Oh, and I have a matchbook. Let's go back. Let's explore the rest of this place before I blow myself up. Oh, God. Those are bodies. Are they hanging from meat hooks? The tag on this body says seven. I smell a puzzle. The tag on this body says Two. No. Maybe something else. No. The tag on. The tag on this one says nine. There are no names on these tags. This just says six. I better write this down. The tag on this body two. says two. Next one is. No. Is. Is is what? No. Maybe something else. What, what do you mean, maybe something else? He has a tag. Is there a number on it or not, Max? No. no. Whatever. The tag on this one nine. says nine. There are no names on these tags. Six. This just says six. Well, I'm sure I could just brute force the missing digit, I guess. No. Assuming it is actually missing. Matches. An empty brass... Lord knows how many bodies have gone into this oven. 
No, this is a crematorium. Where they cream humans. Turn them into cream. They whip them into a froth. No. Maybe something else. Max, is that the only thing you're going to say to me every time I click on anything? No. What is that? A hand? A bunch of tools in here. Oh, okay. Well, that's different. Much better, though. Much more pleasant. A monkey wrench. A monkey wrench. Oh, we have controls here. Surely that's not going to open up a screen that's going to cause crashing, right? Well, this isn't working. Okay, good, it's not. Whew. Well, this... Well, this... Alright, so this thing needs power. Got it. Oh my, this place is large. Hold on, what's over here? Okay. I am a ghost. I am a specter. I'm glitching through the wall. Hello. I'm a ghost. What have you done today? Headstone. Stephen B. Composed as a musician. Now... Decomposing. <laughs> Composed as a musician, now decomposing. That's brilliant. Headstone. Stephen B. Composed as a musician, now decomposing. <laughs> Difficult to read. Isn't there an old trick about rubbing soot on worn carvings to make them legible? No. Must be something else. N n n n no. Must no. Must be something else. What? What is up with this architecture? This is so strange. This doesn't... the architecture of this doesn't look anything like any of the other architecture around here. It looks extremely exotic. What, maybe, uh... Maybe Aztec? Keep in mind, my skills for recognizing architecture is basically non-existent. And that tree has a face. Hi. The tree, it moves. The tree. Wait, I can't talk to it. But I want to talk to the tree. The tree. Aww. No. It must be something else. The stone says, Eric R. Get to work, you maggots. Well, I'm sure the maggots have plenty of work cut out for them. That's not even a proper sentence. I'm sure the maggots have their work cut out for them. That's what I meant to say. There's a nice warm beam of light coming through. Ooh. Ooh, let me stand in that light. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so warm. But, is it warm enough to keep out the freezing cold winds? The sculptor conveniently forgot her shirt. What's she holding? I don't know. Forgetting one shirt doesn't seem very convenient. The sculptor can. The sculptor can. What is she holding? The sculptor. The scu. The scu. The scu. Well, I can't see it, and you won't describe it. There's a nice warm. Hmm. The stone says. Interesting style. At least it's not a gargoyle. True. Nice change of pace. Hmm. This door is locked. Oh, what a surprise! All right, that's probably it for here. Let me try to go. Let me try to go around the back, though. No. Even the trees appear to be insane. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen trees like that. 
even the... Alright, so let's sum up the elements. I need some soot to rub on the headstone to be able to read it. There's a warm shaft of light, uh, she's holding something in her hand, there's a tree I can talk to, I have a matchbook and a wrench, and there's a gas line over there that I might be able to light on fire. And there's a locked door. Oh, and there's a crematorium -ry. A crematorium -ry. Yes, crematorium -ry over here that needs power, apparently. And some bodies with some numerals on them. Okay. Apparently the view will not zoom to the right. I guess this entire room is made out of a triangle. One, two, three. Three angles. Triangle. Pipe valve. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, game. My wrench is off the screen. Let's move to the left so I can actually click my wrench. What a wonderful user interface. Um, I'd really... What's the point? No. Wait a minute, hold on. Not what about this? Pipe U joint. Where do I put that? Oh, I can just turn it. Um... Okay, but why, do, why would I want to do that? Can a I... Pipe huge monk an M do I want to light it on fire? I don't know, where's the gas going to? Is it... It's not going in here, is it? It's going somewhere, well, wherever the pipe goes. Okay, well, the gas is on. Can I turn it back off? You can, okay. Good to know. Not sure where it goes. I'm assuming over here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A bunch of tools in here. But I won't take any because this is an adventure game and tools are never useful in adventure games. Well, there's the pipe. Oh, well, duh. Wow. The gas is on. I've turned on the power, right? I mean... <sighs> okay, th I blame myself for that one. Of course, they run on gas. What else would they run on? They're not going to use electric heating elements to burn bodies. That would be insane. How do I start up this... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Is it? Okay, thank God. I thought it was going to be one of those screens. We have to mess with it. Okay, so we're good to go. Uh, is it too hot to touch? Apparently not. Okay. Um. Say, can I go back in here and burn her body? I mean, she seems frozen. Maybe she wants a wake-up call? The doors have frozen shut. Never mind. Yuck. Okay, you arbitrarily can burn that body for no particular reason. That's great. Why? Who knows? <sighs> this game has no logic. Like, no logic at some points whatsoever. That makes no sense. For some reason, you can burn that body. Why? Why? Is it done? Ding. Ugh. Hope this isn't anyone I know. All right, let's grab some ash and let's rub it on the, the stone. A glass eye. Ew. I don't think the owner will miss it. Ugh. A pipe huge. A glass eye. An empty brass. Oh, here we go. I need to collect it. Okay. Brass urn filled with ashes. I'm going to respect the dead and go spread their ashes at a lovely place. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go pour them all over a gravestone and rub it in. Now shed away the frustrations. Okay, this is a fresh start. It's never gonna crash. Everything's good. Everything is good. What does it say? The ashes show faint scratches. A name, Paul Stark. Okay. What am I supposed to do with that? The ashes. 
I have no idea what to do, that, do with that. I now have a name. Great. Can I warm up? A glass. Warm up the glass eye? Well, this isn't working. Stupid, stupid. Yes, you are stupid. Why did you try to use that glass eye on that warm beam of light? You're so stupid. A tree. Yes, I know it moves. What, what the heck am I supposed to do? I have a bunch of stuff, but what do I do with any of it? Light it on fire. No. A monkey. Interesting. I don't suppose it's unlocked now? Hmm. No. No. Okay, I've got a bunch of stuff, but I just don't know what to do with it. Paul Stark, why is that important? Let's take a look back in here. Did I miss something? Sort of like a safe? No. I could turn the flames off, I don't know why, but... Actually, never mind, I can't. A gas pipe. Don't think there's anything to do in here. A tag on this? Yeah, I've got three numbers. But what do I do with those numbers? There's nowhere to input them. I have a locked door, but it doesn't appear to take any... anything. Any numbers, any names... nothing. The stone says... The ashes show faint scrap... Paul Stark. Um. A pipe U-joint. How about you throw a U-joint at a statue? No. Why can't I just talk to the tree? It has a face. Okay. Folks, I believe it is walkthrough time. Let's take a look here. The Morgan Cemetery. Mm hmm. The door will open. Dr. Morgan's office. Read the papers on the fallen bookshelf. Take the bust urn and matches. Already done. Look at the wall behind the fallen bookshelf. Throw the bust at it again. Take the U turn. Yep. Mm hmm. Boiler room. Start the furnace. Put body number seven onto the slab. Bake for one minute. <laughs> it says bake for one minute. I like that they put that into the walkthrough. Place. Yes, thank you, Max. Open the door and collect the ashes with the urn. Don't forget the glass eye. Got it. The morgue door is now defrosted. What? Okay. The morgue door is now defrosted. Even though the game never showed that or told me that or had any gave me any reason to believe that was true. Okay, whatever. The doors have frozen shut. Wait, I'm sorry, what? The door... The walkthrough said that the door is now deep... What? Do I need to leave it in? Is it baked for one minute? I thought that was a joke. Does it literally need to be on for one minute? To, like, defrost the doors? I mean, if anything, having the morgue... Uh, having the... The door open would actually defrost it faster. Because then the heat would get out more. Do I actually have to leave it in for one minute? Are you serious? I'm gonna read the rest of the walkthrough while I'm waiting. Mm-hmm. Open the door and collect the ashes with the air and don't forget the glass eye. The morgue door is now defrosted. Open it up. Do you hear something? Open up the... Number seven. Okay, do I just need to wait? Is that seriously it? Doors have. I. I'm confused. Hold on, I'm going to find the solution, and I will be right back. Okay, welcome back. This is what I missed. You need to use the uh, U pipe. The 
yeah, the U, the piece of pipe that is shaped like a U, here, to take the hot water or whatever this is, and have it go up here to this pipe that normally would be cold but is now warm. Going in here and defrosting the entire thing. And as you can hear, there's someone clanging about in one of these uh, drawers. It feels much warmer in here. Which one are you in? Hello? Which one are you in? Now he sounds further away. Did I miss him? That was a weird bug. It closed twice. Okay, I missed him. Which one did I miss? A glass. Where are you? Did I check everyone or not? I'm confused now. Hello? There you are. Someone's alive in there. An old man. He looks cold. I bet he is. Because um, I'm pretty sure he was dead just a minute ago. Who are you? My name's Arthur. Arthur Patrick. Yes, that's it. What are you doing in the drawer? Last, last thing I remember, I was taking a nap in the courtyard, and then they were dragging me to some weird laboratory. On the rooftop? Uh, could be. I don't know for sure it was raining. I smelled blood. Dr. Morgan was there. He, he looked at me and s said I was too damn old for his purposes. And I thought, I, I remember he, he was holding a human head. And then I think I fainted. I, I, they must have thought I was dead. I, next thing I, I knew I was in that drawer and scared all the hell. Being in that drawer is enough to scare anyone. Done right. Dark and closed in. Terrible cold. God, that awful scratching. Scratching? Scratching? What exactly was it? Can't say for sure. I uh, just remember hearing these awful screeching and scraping noises nearby. Nearby where? Outside? It's kind of disorienting in there, you know. It sounded muffled, but I i guess the sound was coming from another drawer. Oh. So I get to open up all of the drawers until I find one that contained the scratching noises. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. Doesn't sound creepy at all. It was a bit chilly in there, wasn't it? Chilly? I damn near froze my ass off. Started to fall asleep. Must have dozed off until you came by. I... Did you turn up the heat? Yes, I did. Well, it's, it's nice here now. Thank you, Sonny. No problem, old man. Morgan, he was holding a head? Sure, a stack of Bibles. I saw it. His arms were red with blood and he was swinging around the head as he was talking. Kind of gesturing with it, you know. It, he was... Really yelling at the two orderlies, some, some patient got loose or something. I, I don't know more than that, because they fainted dead away at that point. That's weird. He, he, in the conversation, he just said that he's, uh, it's nice and warm now, but yet, now that I'm back here, his idle animation and sound is him being extremely cold. I'm confused. 
maybe he should get up and walk over to the furnace? Just an idea. Anyway, here. Do you want a glass eye? What's the point? Nope, he doesn't want one. Let's find out where that scratching noise was coming from. This one. I did not mean to get on that. I did not want to get on that. That is no. Don't don't do that. That's scary. Where did that scratching noise come from? Is there something special about the one I came from? Because he seems to get in that one for some reason. Hmm. She's dead. Isn't she? Am I going crazy? No, no, you're not going crazy. Hold on, let's take a look at the walkthrough. Open up the top right most drawer, talk to the old man, ask about the scratching, open all the other drawers and look at them by... And look at them by laying on the slabs. What? You can lay on all f What the f- This game just allows you to do random stuff and doesn't even let you know that you can do it. Apparently I can lay on all the slabs. Gee, how did I miss that? I don't know, I should have known. How do you do that? How- How do you do that? If I click it again, he's just gonna push it back in, right? Yeah. How, how do you lay on the slabs? Okay. This drawer is empty. That's what you do. You use the examine icon in this little black space. This little black space is a hot spot. And I'm supposed to know that I can lay on the slab by doing that. Even though I have the exact same icon around my cursor when I look at anything ever in any other place. Wonderful. I can't do that for the ones up here, right? Oh no, I can. Okay. This drawer is empty. This game, man, this game. No one in this one. Hold on just a second, I'll be right back. Alright, let's look at the rest of these drawers. Hello. This drawer is empty. Empty. Wait a second. There are scratches all over the inside. It's dark in here. I can't quite make out what these scratches are. Hmm. Hmm. It's dark. I need a light source. Maybe I can use the matte glass eye. That won't solve anything. These scratches don't look arbitrary. Was someone trying to communicate something? Oh god, no. Now what? Hmm. Alright, it's one of those windows that's probably gonna explode and crash, so... <sighs> I just saved it. Let's, uh... Or should I use the walkthrough for this? Let's just take a look at it first. Let's just take Matt. a look at it. He's... Alright. Is this one of those crashy bits? It probably is. What are these? What the hell can I do with these? I mean... Now what? Stupid, stupid! Uh, Wait, did I just use a glass eye on that? Whoa, what the... Oh, okay? Interesting. The <laughs> this is really strange. Oh my god, okay. There, please don't crash. There once was a man who planted a tree. Okay, and there's that tree out there. And spoke to it daily. In reverent rhymes. 
before the man died, he shared it with me. The rhyme I have spoken to the tree many times. Approach it with caution and whisper these words. Speak to me, tree, lest your eyes nest with birds. Well, that was an eye-opening experience. Seriously, Max? Seriously? Okay, let's go try to speak with it. I'm amazed it didn't crash. Even the... Approach with caution. What is it gonna do? How can it hurt me? Speak to me, tree. Lest your eyes nest with birds. <sighs> Why have you summoned me, stranger? Normally it is the man with the glass eye who speaks the words of commandment. I'm afraid he's dead, but he left behind the cryptic message that led me to you. Very well. What is it that you seek? Who are you? My name is Malus Ionsis. I am the guardian of the light, protector of the grove. Really? And how exactly do you protect the grove? How do you guard the light? It's all around us. Fool! The light. It is housed within my- Okay, let's try that again. It crashed. How do you- Fool! The light. It is housed within the heart of ancient mighty warriors. They alone understand the true meaning of sacrifice. I don't understand. What do you sacrifice? Freedom. Movement. Growth. My limbs ache to stretch upwards into the nurturing sunlight. Yet I must remain steadfast, lest my trunk stray from its position in the grove. I am he who must remain in place. Well, that's a sad existence. Why must the grove be protected? Greed, pride, evil. These aspects of humanity threaten all life. Thus I remain, and none may pass. Save one. Who? The Creator. The Creator? Yes. By his name only shall I be swayed from my place. Really? Well, it just so happens I have a name. Which, since I had to do a puzzle to get the name, I'm assuming is the name of the Creator. In the name of your Creator, Paul Stark, I command you to move aside. Paul Stark, the Creator. He who planted my seed and gave me life. In his name, I do as commanded. Why, thank you. Okay, so apparently he was protecting this. What is this? It's like a monument. Strange place for such a thing? Is that a crystal heart? Strange and wonderful prism. It seems to focus the light that passes through it. Does it now? I can think of a possible use for that. Rain too far away. Yeah, Max, you you know you can just walk like two feet, right? Really, I have to do it for you. Okay. Yes, the light. It's opening the door. Excellent. It's nice that I can actually solve some of these puzzles on my own. Well, Max, I don't know how you found me, but you're too late. I'm leaving now, leaving you here with the rest of the dead people. Damn you, Morgan! Oh, you're not getting away from me, Morgan. 
Although you might, because what this is is a gigantic contraption that is probably going to be one of those screens that's going to crash all the time. Pretty much guarantee it. But let's look at everything else first, shall we? Statue of an Aztec warrior. It looks almost lifelike. St a globe. Pencil marks on Central America. Okay, so I guess I wasn't wrong when I said this kind of looked like aztec -y. A phone. Oh, just my luck. It's dead. <laughs> what? Max, do you think you're going to be able to call 911? Get some help? Please. Send some police cars. Here. Into this nightmare of my own mind. Rescue me from myself. Their cosmic structure was simple. Earth below in the form of twin mountains. The sun and stars above. Over these, another world exists. One beyond this life. There's a number one written next to this passage. I don't even care. I'm not going to solve this puzzle. I'm just going to use a walkthrough for it. Is that a stone dog? Oh, hi, doggy. The secret to activating the device appears to be the use of five distinct symbols. All right. I think it's time to do it. I'm going to go, I'm going to forge ahead and use this thing for as long as it takes until it crashes. And then after that, I'm just going to cut it out until I finish it. So let's see how long we can last. Okay, here we go. How huh, long can I last? Looks like an Aztec calendar. But something's wrong. There's a device hooked up to it. This isn't a normal Aztec calendar. Some of the parts move. Okay. Let's see how long it lasts before it crashes. These are fascinating symbols. Let's look at the walkthrough. I'm sure it's about to crash. But let's see how long it lasts. Mm-hmm. Old man about to do the cipher. Okay, hold on. Look at the statue of the globe and the papers on the desk. The papers reveal the pattern to input in the Aztec. So, the first one is the sun over Twin Peaks. How do I move it? This, oh, and it crashed. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I just solved the puzzle and we're going to the Lost Village. Yes, it... Here we go. Um... Apparently I'm like an Aztec god. And I am being worshipped. Cool. Awesome. Sorry for the awkward recording start, but uh, I didn't expect that solving the puzzle would automatically load me into the next level. So, yeah. Okay, um... Hi. You are beneath me, disciples. Literally because you are bending down and I am standing up, so you are quite literally beneath me. You should stay there. These people have called me. I heard their voices. These people have called me. I heard their voices. Here is the woman whose magic summoned me. 